Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is a start of a brand new franchise mode series, baby! As today, we are taking over, as you guys probably already seen by the thumbnail, the Columbus Blue Jackets. You guys voted for this team a couple weeks ago, and uh, this is the official team that we're going to be taking over and trying to win a Stanley Cup for the first ever time in Columbus Blue Jackets uh, franchise history. Uh, not just that, we're looking to pull this team out of mediocrity and actually, you know, be a competent playoff team like how we did uh, with the Seattle Kraken and made that squad just a perennial playoff masters. Now, with this series, it uh, comes with a little bit of rules. Uh, you guys can scroll down in the description below. There will be tons of rules. Of course, we're going to be keeping doing on the no movement clause and no trade clause. But with the no trade clause, there will be a new rule with that. We're only allowed to trade to four teams on that no trade clause list. And that means uh, for those four teams are the top teams of each of the divisions from Pacific to Metro to any division has to be one of the top teams that we have to trade that certain player that has a no trade clause to. Uh, otherwise, um, three mil and above, we got to spin the wheel, of course, for the no movement. Uh, can't draft more than uh, three first rounders, and that's if we're rebuilding, which I don't think we'll be rebuilding the Columbus Blue Jackets, but who knows? Uh, we must draft a minimum of one goalie, a maximum of two. Uh, main roster must include three players over 30 years old, and the bomb six must be old third line players or first li uh, fourth line players. We can't have any, you know, second liners or first liners, kind of like what we were doing with the Seattle Kraken. We can't have any of those guys playing down in our depth, and also we can't sign any free RFA over an 82 overall, uh, just so we don't get, you know, the freebies. And we must be $5 million above the salary cap as well. As you guys all know, the salary cap, it jumps up by, like, tremendous amounts each season. And you basically have, like, you know, millions upon millions of dollars each year. So you never really have to worry about salary cap. But with this, we have to kind of worry about it a bit more. And we have to stay $5 million above cap. After the first year. The first year does really matter. We don't really have to clear very much cap. Uh, but moving forward into year two, we're definitely going to have to worry about that $5 million and above. So, uh, instead of talking about all the rules, let's finally get into setting this puppy up. As I am super excited to start this series up. I've been waiting like all month to, you know, get this series together and, and, and record the first episode. I, I, I've been excited and I hope you guys are just as excited as I am uh, to start up this brand making new series. It's set up Columbus, baby. So yeah, the top players, of course, is Oliver Bjorkstrand, an absolutely amazing winger for the Columbus Blue Jackets lining, and of course, Zach Rowenski as well. So uh, we got some guys that we're going to be building around uh, here in Columbus. Uh, of course, we're in the Metro Division, which will be the first ever time that we took, uh, we're taking uh, over a, a Metro Division team. Um, we, we have done uh, every other division, but for the Metro, so I'm glad that we're able to do that uh, morale computer trades salary cap is on otherwise um, for trading difficulty we're also going to be boosting up the trading difficulty because I want this to be our hardest franchise mode yet and, and that's really the way that I want this one to be I want it to be difficult I don't want it to be easy where we win you know the Stanley Cup in year two like how we did with the Seattle Kraken I want this one to be as hard as humanly possible and realistic as humanly possible is what we're trying to aim for with this franchise mode with the Columbus Blue Jackets of course 25 to 25 for injuries and also in today's episode we're just basically taking an overview of the Columbus Blue Jackets looking at what we need to do are we going to be a playoff team? What are we going to be? What's our identity with this team? And, and what are we going to do moving forward? Uh, of course, we only have to deal with a couple contracts uh, with this team. Felino with his no movement clause, which he, he's on his last year anyways. Atkinson, no trade clause. And also Seth Jones also has a no trade clause on his contract as well. So not too much that we have to deal with. Uh, with this team and also prospect wise we're I don't think we're going to be looking too bad anyways but the team status of course is a seller we are also having to deal with a lot of good teams like the Hurricanes the Islanders Rangers Flyers Penguins and the Capitals so I mean we're gonna have to play red hot uh, to be able to you know 
play better than most of those teams. So here are the C are the, the the Columbus Blue Jackets. I'm gonna have to get used to saying that. Of course, Line A, uh, I wasn't able to I should have retained his contract a bit, but that doesn't matter anyways. He's on his last year anyways. Um so maybe we sign a contract for him right off the get go before we get the season started might be the plan. Uh you know, get Line A locked up because that is our future guy. Line A without a doubt is the future of this team Without a doubt. And, and Oliver Bjorkstrand as well. This guy is a god defensively and goal scoring wise as well. This guy, I, I'm really, really excited to see what Bjorkstrand and Line A will do for the future of this squad. Um, otherwise, Max Domi, I know he's been struggling in real life, but I'm really excited to see what we can do. Maybe we can pull some untapped potential out of him. And also Jack Roslovich as well, which I think will be our one-two punch. Uh, Domi and Roslovich going into this year. Grigorenko, Texier, great prospect in him. Same with Benstrom. And also, uh, Stenland's good as well. But in the system, uh, for prospects, we got, uh, Foodie, uh, uh, Chinkinov. I think I forgot to, um, make one guy. So maybe I have to do that in the next episode. I think I forgot to make one player for Columbus. So maybe we'll have to do that, uh, and make them for the next episode. Uh, but that is the roster there for the Columbus Blue Jackets for the forwards. Defensively, where it's going to be really nice, we're going to have a really nice top four between Savard, uh, Garakovo, Wawenski, and Seth Jones. Now, it's definitely not the best core. We don't have any guy that's really a top two defender. Maybe Zach Wawenski will be able to take that spot. Uh, Seth Jones, I mean, he's not the greatest defensively either. Uh, we're going to be having to rely a lot on, you know, Garakovo and Savard, who are great defensive defensemen for this team. And also, uh, I think it's Garak Garakrikov. Uh, Y'all have to tell me guys in the comment section below how to say his name, but um, he's going to be, I mean, this defense score is so young. I think we're going to have to keep it going moving forward, but maybe we trade away David Savard if the team is not going to be doing very well because we get a lot of nice young prospects that should be coming up uh, defensively uh, with Gabriel Carlson and Andrew Peak. And in goaltending wise, we got uh, Merz Lincolns and Corpus Salo in the system. We got Tarasov. So not a bad looking team. I feel like this team though is missing, you know, that that old star, that that old star to be that that number one guy here for the Columbus Blue Jackets, and we just you know don't have it. You have Line A, who is going to be a, a great future piece for this team, but you know moving forward, we need that guy to play alongside of him. Line A is not going to be able to carry this team to a playoffs. And what happens if he struggles? What happens if he doesn't score goals to the way that we want him to? Um, which will be a big question. Line A, you know, he's had questions over his career of being an inconsistent goal scorer. Uh, and that, that will definitely be a big problem moving forward. And hopefully uh, we won't have to deal with that very much. So let's take a look at the lineups. Uh, let's uh, create them and see what we can really do with this team. I think going forward, um, I want I want that first line. Felino, power forward. Um, you know, he's the captain of the team playing alongside of Max Domi and Line A. Um, now, for the second line will be the biggest issue because we might actually might not be able to do that. <sighs> Because, you know, the rule is we cannot play any second liners down in that depth. So we're going to have to play Felino and we're going to have to do the lineup identical to that, um, basically. Unless we want Bjorkstrand up on the first line to do the line A, Domi, Bjorkstrand, Atkinson, Roslovich, and Gustav Nyquist, Felino. Uh, I want Jenner uh, up there with uh, Eric Robinson, man. That could just be a physical, physical third line. And then uh, Texier, Stenlin, and Nash. Not looking too bad for the depth. Um, something that we're probably going to have to improve upon. I think I'd rather have Grigoranko instead of Stenland. And we might send down Stenland to get some more. Ooh, maybe not. Uh, we might do that. I don't know. We'll have to see what we do. We still, the, the lines are definitely in prototype mode right now. That's why we're, we're doing the overview episode. So you guys can get an idea of what we're going to be looking at, you know, for the future of this roster. And, and this is what we got. And I think... The biggest thing with us is that, you know, Columbus keeps on pushing to be a playoff team, but I think it's time that, you know, we take the, the slow approach with this team. And I will, I'd like to hear you guys' opinion on this as well. Um, should we be a rebuilding team? You know, should Atkinson, uh, a Nyquist, not a Felino, because, you know, he's on a no movement clause. We're not going to be able to trade him away. Um, but a guy like an Atkinson, guy like a Nyquist, maybe even a Max Domi. 
right? We trade these guys away, we bolster up on the picks, and, and we go that route, which I think might be the best route for this team moving forward. Um, we don't got the pieces to be a deadly playoff team. We don't. Yeah, we have line name Bjorkstrand, which they are phenomenal players, but I, I don't think moving forward that this team is, you know, going to be a perennial playoff team that could kick ass every single year. We talked about it at the starting of the video that we want this team to be a team that we look at and, and be like, wow, this is a, a playoff team that dominates. This team has only won two playoff rounds since 2000. Since they came into the NHL, they've only won two playoff rounds. One against Tampa Bay that was very recent and the Toronto Maple Leafs. We want to make this team a team that will be going to the Stanley Cup Finals almost every single year and be a team that they're afraid of because, you know, they have that number one centerman and they have Patrick goddamn Line up on that first line. That's what I want to be looking at with this team here in Columbus. And we have the pieces to build it. We have a great guy that I think could be a great second line centerman, Roslovich. We need that number one centerman. We need that future pieces to build around this team. And we have the young pieces to do it. We got Liam Foodie. We got, you know, got some really, really good prospects that will be developing over the next couple of years that I'm super excited about. And Gabriel Carlson and not just that, Andrew Peak. But we got to continue growing that. We got to continue growing and we, we got to keep improving this team. And, and, you know, looking at this draft class coming up, you know, we got Carson Lambos, who looks like a phenomenal defenseman in this upcoming draft. And uh, the reason why Carson Lambos is number one, as I looked at, like, uh, um, practically a prospect listing. The prospect listings have been all over the place. So I took one that a guy made for NHL 21. And Carson Lambos was number one in his rankings. Um, we got Lambos, Keaton Shelley. Uh, we know A2 Ratu is going to be great centerman. Maybe we bring him in. Another Finn playing alongside of, uh, you know, Patrick Line, the Finnish connection. That would be a great combination. Dylan Gunther. I mean, we got a lot of options that we could look at moving forward. You know, uh, the next couple of years, there are going to be some really good drafts. And I think with the Columbus Blue Jackets, we really got to take this as a slow approach. You know, we still have line A. We could lock him up for the next four years and, and sign him to that contract because I think line A is going to be worth it for the long haul for this Columbus Blue Jackets team. Uh, we needed that future goal scorer, and, and line A is going to be that guy. I think he's going to be that guy that brings in the fans, and that's what I want to do for this Columbus Blue Jackets crew. I want to have fans from all around. I want this team to be the next big thing here in uh, Ohio. All right, I want that cannon going off every damn playoff round that we're in. And, and I want to be the next big, you know, Cleveland Claviers, right? I want this team to be bringing in Stanley Cups and having huge parades there in Cleveland, Ohio, right? I want that for this team. And I believe that we could be bringing some future Stanley Cups to this team here in Columbus. So uh, I'm going to end the video here, guys, though. Uh, it's a very short one for you guys, but do not worry. We're going to be having some very fun episodes coming up as uh, we're going to be starting the, the regular season in the next episode. I'm super, super excited to start this all up. Uh, but for right now, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Make sure to stop that subscribe button and hit that like button as well. And uh, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Adios, amigos.